Hello, it's Donna from Taffy Crafting. I've got a Z Fold card and it's quite simple just using one sheet of A4 cardstock in very vanilla, although I think this would work just as nicely in white. Um, and I'm using the Woven Threads DSP, um, which is using our new in colours. And I've got a piece of Rococo Rose cardstock just with um, a simple sentiment in there. Um, for then you to add your own words and I've used the daisy punch and the daisy stamp just to put some daisies on it just to give it just to give it some flowers but you could use um, you could use anything on the front of there you you might want to put um, another type of flower there's the four um, the four petal punch you could put a cat on there balloons butterflies I've seen lots of things uh, where people have put different types of things on the front of that it's entirely up to you whatever the recipient of the card likes what's their favorite thing so let me show you how to make that all of the details for this um, measurements and products all of that is on my blog and there is a link to the blog post that goes with this project in the description bar below please come and subscribe to my channel if you like my videos and give this one a thumbs up if you like it so let's get started i've already cut out some of my things so i've got here a piece of very vanilla cardstock um, but like I said, you could do this in white um, or you could have a really different contrast colour. And what I like to go with this kind of dusky pink colour and also this terracotta um, is black. And I think black would look amazing with this. But I've chosen uh, very vanilla because that was just the first card that came out of the box. This measures 11 and three quarters by five and seven eighths. And I have scored it on the long side at five and seven eighths get my bone folder and I'm going to fold that in half I don't think that's gone to my score line so my score line might have been out a little bit rushing probably so I'm just going to score that in half so that's the front of my card and then so if this is the front like that I'm then going to fold this side back on itself just where it meets that fold and then push it down get your bone folder and burnish that fold so there you have the basis of your of your card so it's going to do that I've cut out some DSP and some cardstock so you have two pieces of DSP. This one measures two and three quarter inches by five and three quarter inches, and that's going to sit on the front. This one measures the same, two and three quarters by five and three quarters, and will sit on the inside. And I'm going to stamp that before I put that in there. And then this one measures five and three quarter inches square. And I think I need to trim a little bit off there because my fold was slightly out. That's what happens when you don't concentrate. So I'm just going to literally skim a teeny tiny piece off of that and literally a teeny tiny piece. And sorry, just bear with me with that. Yep, that will do. That will be fine. So let's get those pieces stuck on. And I'm just using Tombow. Just before I do that, I'm going to stamp my sentiment on here. So I am using the Forever Lovely stamp set and I'm using the Wishing You a Lovely Day sentiment. So this is from the Forever Lovely, a photopolymer stamp set. So if you like photopolymers, I do. They are they're probably my stamp set of choice would be a photopolymer. But just because um, I just like it for convenience, really, I find these really easy to use. So I think this wishing you a lovely day is a nice generic sentiment. You can use it for anything. I think it would be good for a wedding anniversary or a birthday. Something that doesn't need to be specific. And I've got a craft fair coming up soon and I would probably be making quite a few cards using this stamp, this stamp in particular, wishing you a lovely day, because then people can choose. You're not narrowing it down to just a birthday. So I'm using basic grey ink for this. 
rather than black. Black can be a bit stark sometimes, but again, it's your, you know, it's your colour of choice. It's whatever you prefer. There are no rules with crafting, none whatsoever. I'm just going to let that ink dry off a little bit. So let's stick that on there. And I've got my other piece that's going to stick on there. So just really quickly, I'm going to get some glue on that. And then we can start stamping and punching, which sounds a bit violent, but actually in the crafty world, it's a lovely thing to do. So I'm just going to put my DSP on there, get as even as possible border all the way around that. The colours we've got on here are Sahara Sand, uh, Rococo Rose and Terracotta Tile. And there is, I think that's white in the background. So it's got that on there. Let's put our cardstock. So this is Rococo Rose card with our sentiment on it using Tombow to stick that down so we can adjust it if we need to. And then let's fold that in and then I'm going to put some Tombow onto the back of this. And then that is the, that's our card base done. And we can start decorating it. So let's just get that on there. Other adhesives that you could use are tear and tape, but you've got to be exact. It's going to go down and that's it. You can't move it. Um, there's also snail, but again, no room for manoeuvre on that. That's why I like Tombow. Let's put that to one side. I don't need that at the moment. So the next thing I'm going to use is the Delightful Daisy stamp, which comes from the, sorry, Daisy Delight stamp. So Daisy Delight and I'm using this stamp. Now you'll see when I put this on my block just how used this stamp is. This is well used. I have to give it a bit of a press as well actually. I've just used it so often. And I'm going to get some Rococo Rose card. And I'm going to get my Rococo Rose ink, which... There it is, it's over there. And I want to stamp out this daisy four times. So load up your ink on your stamp. So just while I'm stamping these, if you are looking to buy some of these products, I've left the link to my shop in the description bar. I'm just about to, um, sorry, I thought I was gonna sneeze. Oh, sorry, I did sneeze. So what was I saying? Yes, if you are looking to buy some of these products, please go along to my shop. I've left the link in the description bar. Um, you'll see all the links to these products in my blog post. So if you click on those directly, that will then take you directly to my shop. When you order, quote the hostess code that's on my blog. I'll then get notified that you've ordered and I can send over a little small handmade gift to you just to say thank you for ordering with me. So I've got four daisies there that I've stamped out using the Daisy Delight Punch, uh, Daisy Delight stamp. There's the Daisy Punch. This is the big one. We've got a medium sized one as well. And the fact that they call this a large and then we've got a medium. Makes me think they might bring out a small. We'll have to see. Now this, you're going to line it up. And um, I've got the shakes. We're going to line it up. I don't know why I've got the shakes. You're going to grab it. And you're going to punch it. Line it up. Squeeze it together and punch. Line it up, grab it, punch it. One more time with that. Oh, and I've got that stuck in there. Finally, 
line it up again i love this punch it gives when you put two of these together it just gives a really lovely flower look so i've got four flowers now i'm going to get my bone folder and with each of these we're just going to very carefully bend around those petals. If you look at a flower, petals aren't normally flat, certainly not on daisies. So we're going to do that with all of them. Be careful with them. I have ripped off petals before now because I've not been concentrating or be careful enough. It's just to give them just a slight bend. crafting I'm sat right in front of my window and it's absolutely chucking it down such a miserable day and how nice it is to be indoors crafting now oh I don't know why I've got the card out I need to stick these first now what's going to happen with these is they are going to stick together like that so we'll stick one on top of the other so we go from I've just bent that again I'm so violent when it comes to bending my petals and when you put them down together like that it just gives a lovely full flower. So let's just put those to one side and I'm going to put a blob of glue on each of those flowers. I'm gonna take my second flower, place that on top, get it roughly in the right place, push it and then, oh, and that's moved. And then just before that glue sets, just turn it just so you've got it in the right position. You've got a few seconds. Oh, I'm struggling with this one. That's it. Oh my goodness, it's stuck to my fingers. Right, I'm leaving that before I do any damage with it. And same with this one, see if I can do a better job with this one. I think I've got a tiny bit of glue on my fingers and it's just sticking. Let's turn that a little bit and then I'm just I'm leaving that before I do any damage. Now, I'm just going to put those to one side. So I've got my card base and what I'm going to do is put some glue on the back of my flowers. I'm going to stick one here and one here. So let's pick this one up first. just want a slight bend on these. The glue might still be a little bit tacky. Um, if I wasn't doing a video, I would have left that for probably a couple of minutes going to get two mini dimensionals and I'm going to place those just to the right of the centre of the flower. Just put two of those there. Now I'm using dimensionals rather than any other glue just because dimensionals have got, they are really tough. They don't go anywhere. Once they're stuck down, that's it. So just take the backing off of those. Keep the shape of your flower and then I'm going to very carefully place these there on my card so I'm going to line it up I hope you can see what I'm doing I'm lining that up to the edge pressing it down like that and then what I can do is just fiddle with those a little bit like that I'll do the same with the other one and then we are almost done those on the side like that take off the backing paper which is sticking to me and I'm going to line up just so that those dimensionals are right on the edge I don't know if you oh no that's not it down a little bit there we go And we have a card with some flowers on and it's all colour coordinated. That's what I like about that. It's all colour coordinated. Maybe that one could have gone a bit further up. I don't know. It's e it's not so easy to do when you're filming a video with it. I just want to just add a little finishing touch. And I've got these um, clear faceted gems. I'm take that off the plastic and then... that on there like that and it just gives it a finishing touch I'll line that up on there 
touch that over a little bit. And there you have it. Really lovely, pretty card that can be used for a number of occasions. Maybe even a wedding card, possibly. Um, you know, very non-traditional wedding card. Wishing you a lovely day um, with some lovely flowers and then just a little bit of bling. So I hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you do. Come and subscribe and I'll have another tutorial for you coming up soon. See you again. Bye bye.